Oof, I'm actually <laughs> worried about this match because if he's got a wizard, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's two and oh. He's got a strip dancer. I've got a defenseless ball carrier. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, if you TV up against a bash team, no problem. If this was a chaos team, if this was a, if this was a 1160 chaos team, brilliant, you know? If this is an 1160 orc team, great. If it's an 1160, uh, you know, dwarf or chaos dwarves, brilliant. You know, they're going to get a star player or something. But Wood Elves with a wizard can easily outbash me and as well as win. <laughs> so, yeah, chaos, are, you know, the, the TV difference, TV difference isn't always a TV difference, is it? That's the thing. It's like not all TV is equal TV at the end of the day. It's much more... Much worse being down TV in like a bash, a bash mirror match, than being down TV with elves against bash, or even Bretts against bash. You know, Bretts would have Griff here, or or a wizard, and at least Bretts would have some mi movement and stuff. But if this was another chaos team, he would basically be, you know, banged on, wouldn't he? But it isn't. It's Woody's. Which is tricky. Woody's with a wizard and a stripper. It's tricky. My chances against the Skaven as birds. <laughs> oh, not good. Not good. I mean, got a chance, obviously, because it's like, it's Blood Bowl. There's always a chance, isn't there? But it's not, and it's not a good chance. This doesn't have a tree. At least there's that. Jimmy, how are you? Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> um. Round three, I'm excited. I don't know what is. I don't know what that means. Strike fast, strike hard, no mercy. <laughs> Glorious. Cobra Kai, never die. Um, Glorious. Glorious. Our oh, third game. Ah, right, 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 right. Cool. Right, I was confused. I was like, is this in a World Cup qualifier or something? I was like, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the game I played yesterday. <laughs> oh, shit. So he's reduced to one dicing into a two dice into a, into a two dice. Or he blitzes here, which isn't going to do him much good, is it? So... Oh, wow. Easy, yeah? Oh, genius. Oh, 
the people. Anyway, thank you very much, Necrotechy. Thanks for staying fantastic with that glorious, uh, the glorious Cobra Kai message. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Cool has now answered, how are you? And he's, un he's explained round three. And then I'll drop him a BLGF. Did I consider putting guard in the middle? I didn't. Well, he would have just one diced him then, wouldn't he? But then I guess he would have had another one dice then into another one dice. I'd rather he one diced a block character than one diced a defenseless character. I do, but the, the idea here is to deny the LOS with having the block, with having the strength four on the LOS, isn't it? If I was, if I had Beastmen on the LOS, I'd be two back. But because I've got, because I've put the Warriors on, um, there you go. <laughs> Extra arms got into a snitch. Yeah. You got two babes, so hopefully that means you'll get loads of guys cast. <laughs> That's uh, that would be ideal. That's normally what happens when uh, when I do that. Well, it's what I feel happens when I do that. Obviously, the inducement you take doesn't affect what your opponent's rolls. But I would rather have... I just think, anyway, I just think even having the extra apple gives you the chance to apple and uh, KO anyway, you know? So, like, it gives you the versatility anyway, doesn't it? So... I, I generally, I think one... Well, obviously, one babe is, is something that's something... Is something that is sometimes all right. But I generally always take uh, two, uh, an apple over two babes. Yeah. Yeah, he's given up on the LOS, I think. Always like to see someone giving up. He's a block guy. Couldn't have. Oh, and then he blitzes him. Ah. So yeah, so if he was guard, he would have just done the same play, wouldn't he? Except he would have hit. Uh, he would have hit a defenseless guy. I mean, he could have had warriors and all three warriors in on the LOS, but then it would have made a warrior not on the sideline. Double one. <laughs> Banged on. <laughs> oh, glorious. How glorious. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We're just running forward. He's just literally got to, uh, got to make the pickup and everything, hasn't he? It's early, too early to say that, isn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe it's not too early to say. And make it blow, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God! 
Now, now you can say yes, getting fucked. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if he goes six, then he can just just score. So I think that's an okay thing to do. It's not really going crazy. I don't want to go crazy and leave him a way through. Him back as a bit of a sweeper. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Drop the mold, EGG. <laughs> yeah, BZO, yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Knowing who to ban is quite different than just spending Agent half an hour lads, on the computer just to fucking ban a couple of guys, yeah, that's fair enough. That's a lie, I love shaming people. <laughs> Glorious! <laughs> Sweet my <little> leg. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I would have done. I would have done, but um, I don't want to expose the agility guy to a punch to her. Um, so, ideally, I'd like to revolve that around, you know, somehow. But for now, for this turn, if he fails the pick up here, then then he knows he's he's completely fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry that I haven't scored yet. I'm not in Aryan. <laughs> and did, it wasn't a championship. It was a Rebel Rebel League match, but um, he pulled out. So, um, having another game of champs. Ladder. So yeah, here now. Now that he's here, he can he can stand there, can't he? And the wrestle can drop back. In a pretty safe cage. For me to swarm. Play down, down two men for the half now, I guess. So yeah, base the uh, non-dodge guys is definitely better than basing dodge men's. I don't want to go behind. I want to keep everything in front. Maybe he could blitz here.
I'd love to tag him. But probably isn't worth it. You know, I would, I would just want him. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Jim Smash. Uh, playing another day, playing Wednesday. Because I'm a lovely guy. What's with the love of and nice? Yeah, it's some, it's some, we're near like fields and shit, so it's, uh, Senai calls them peasants, but they are farmers. And, uh, some kind of, it's some kind of farming thing, device. Yeah, the Orc Star player does um, does claim to chew ghouls, but what he does is stand up quickly after he gets knocked over by them. He's got to jump up, hasn't he? That's about it. Tricky, isn't it? Tricky. I should probably have two safeties just because he can bolt one, couldn't he? Going for the one DB. Skull. Oh. 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 Might regret having this wrestle, but at the moment he's got the ball. I could blitz him with block, couldn't he? He's got the ball. On on only a dodger. In fact, I could just bought down, still gets it on the floor. It's not terrible. Not terrible to do that. What a brutal double one that lot was, though. I mean, it was pretty irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. But the fact that the block, <laughs> the blitz was a, the blitz was a cas, and the block that it gave up was a cas was ridiculous. Very good start. sense like just run back but no dodge could chain him in there this is a good one isn't it chain him into him to block him to hit the ball right how realistic is it two players here and then another player here, another player. So three, four players to chain him to there. Then a player in here, and then a player who can blitz. He could blitz. He can get into there. It's not too crazy. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe I just need to base people after moving these. Maybe it's maybe I just base people. After doing fucking half of it. I could just base. Cause it, I've only moved him. 
It's a nice idea, but three players here is a huge commitment. Or a pow there, and a pow there. I would need a pow anyway to hit the ball, so fuck it. And I'd push him to here, and then I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he'd pick it up and pass it anyway, so no, no, I don't do that. It's the wood elf, uh, the wood elf, the wood elf. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. It's a nice play. It would have been good against a bash team, wouldn't it, doing all that? But, um... Can those peasants outside, you friend? I don't know, let, let, let's get a fucking Minotaur. Let, let's, let's let a Minotaur loose onto these farmers and see if they can defend themselves at all against it. Much less better than a professional American football player would. Um... I'm guessing not. I pretty much put the guard in the wrong place. I should have put the guard there, shouldn't I, really? Giving up a mighty blow to get punched was bad. Don't really like this, because now if he pushes, he's going to get punched. If he'd gone here, he could have cleared him, couldn't he? But still, he's tricky for him, isn't it? I, I want to get all, everyone based who hasn't got dodge, basically. That's that's the important thing. Keep him making rolls without dodge. Now I've got the double GFI to hit the ball. Unless he dodges. Everything else is tricky for him, isn't it? Three plus dodges out. Well, I never heard from. I don't know the fact that it's World Cup. I don't any 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 hints of collusion. But yes, my my guy's back. The wrestles completely sir completely back, and then the edge falls there for a recovery as well, isn't he? So kind of has to make this to stop the ball getting hit. Big rolls. And he does, he uses a re-roll because otherwise he's, the ball was getting hit, wasn't it, pretty much? Unfortunate that I had uh, like this 3 plus, 2 plus. Maybe I should have had, um, I was hard to lock down though with that guy as well. Maybe there's a guy here. Hmm. Prick. Rerolls are gone, that's true. I hate these fucking wood elf shitheads. No need is there. No need for wood elves. I think just base them. He's in scoring range, he isn't. 
Let me blitz him and base him. But then I can't get in here as much as draft blitz here and then base these guys. He's gonna get based first. And him. And him. And him. Herb derp. Base, base, base. This will fail. I am on the right. Burp, burp, burp. That seems pretty good. Oh, I guess I could have punched him the other way. And then could have been basing both, but... I don't hate it. <laughs> Put him further back or further forward. Put him there, so that's a three plus. That seems good. <laughs> yeah, squirrel dude, yeah. Yeah, two plus dodge. I mean, and then making the the positional rolling dodges, okay, occasionally they'll roll one in 36s, but it's, you know, they're pretty, as you can see from my games in the, uh, in the, what's it called, uh, in the World Cup qualifiers, I make millions of dodges with guys with, that have dodge, I attempt lots and pass lots because it's pre pretty easy to do, isn't it? It's pretty easy to just attempt lots of dodges and pass a lot of dodges when you've when you've got dodge. When you've got the dodge skill. So, so making positionals dodge. dodge isn't really very good. Unless you've got dwarves. But um, if you make it to the linos have got to roll dice so that they've got to use team rerolls. Even if they block, one in nine, isn't it? Whereas a uh, a war dancer would be one in 36. So, if you can try to get the linemen or the unskilled players doing stuff, helps. Yeah, that's fair enough, Frank, certainly, yeah. Rock hard. Oh, I really like the uh, I really like the circle on that, but I really want JF. I really just want JF as the big letters in the thing. I think that would be great. Yeah, so he blitzes him and gets down the sideline. That's good. Yeah, that's very good. That's very good, Barney. Oh my god, so after saying <laughs> war dancers don't fail dodges. <laughs> after saying war dancers don't fail dodges, there you go. Oh god, I don't even want to hit the ball, do I, when I could just surf this one? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, fuck! So a shame that the edge 4 isn't really there. 1, 2, 3. I can block him and then get the him in so that he's a better one. Well, but he's a better one to score anyway, isn't he? I don't really want to score this turn. I'd rather protect. He could go there to block and then surf. All right. All right, fuck it. I've got to make this block first. No, I can't. Okay, this block first. No, three dice on the ball first with block. No, because then I might want to pick it up. Fuck, it's not easy. Why can't it be easy? 
Fucking elves. Can't make that block because it might go into him. There's actually no one to fucking do the surf. Gia fine pickup. He's got strength four on block. I just go in there for another block. Yeah, in there for another block. One, two, three, four, five. G double GFI from him. Two, three, four, five. So double GFI, but he's strength four. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. No GFI, but he's only strength three. And then it's easy to easy to get a ball off him. Not easy to get the ball off uh, off a strength four guy. I think let's go for the payoff. Holy shit. Seven one three so dead. Man, I wish I'd surfed the banter, but I couldn't be bored, could I? God, that's really good. Yeah, with a big J and a big F inside that circle, I think that would be really good. But I have to not use the original artwork, that's the thing. It's important that you haven't used the original artwork there, Barney. Otherwise, uh, it's, pro you know, it's probably not even allowed to use a part of it, are you? I don't know how it works. I don't know. I've I'm always Mr. Nice Necropotence. Should be ashamed. Hello. You put a call on. No. <laughs> yeah, he was always going to leap, wasn't he? With a dancer. Got strip. Against license for sure, unless I pay 50, 50 quid. If I play 50 quid, it might still not be allowed. <laughs> there you go, he's got the ball. But <laughs> it's not in a great spot for him, is it? all his team so well look it's easy to just 2d him and then 2d the dancer isn't it i mean i could do a way of getting these guys in there and then 2ding him and then surfing him or getting him in here and him in here and then going there and then splitting him and surfing a few but i think i'm just going to go for the the less dice rolls make it work rather than try to get greedy um Three dice here first. And a 
strength guy in there. Got him. Glorious. He's on he's on fourteen, that would level him. So Might as well reroll. Oh, baby. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, BZL, yeah. It was it was tempting to do something like that, wasn't it? But yeah, there's gotta be a double surf somewhere, but But yeah, no, no style point, no. Yeah, I think better to be safe, isn't it? <laughs> Thirty pop for it. Yeah. Nah, win, win. Flashy players can. Flashy players are for losers. First you just gotta win. Just win. 50-50 you get the hit. And then 50-50 to get him down once he got the hit, wasn't it? So it was about one in four to get him down there, ish. Oh back door Billy. <laughs> yeah. It's great, isn't it, the Frau and Power Plants? That is that is pretty funny. Hey. So no surfs over there. There is a surf here potentially, isn't there? Um, but I'd rather go forward than surf. So. <laughs> Go for a bit of a. Do you know what? I realised too late. I could have. I could have done the full nine man cage, couldn't I? That would have been the play then. That would have been the play. Go for the full. <gasps> it's got a wizard. Screen off, and I thought, God, I could have done a nine man cage. 
Oh, holy shit. Right, well, I lost him, which sucks a bit. But. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, I was pretty done. I was just gonna fucking screen it. Oh, and I thought, there's no point. There's no point in doing this screen. <laughs> I'm possibly knock everyone over. Yeah. Right, can he finally hit? The mighty blow guy can finally hit. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I wouldn't have fouled, I should have just caged normally with a bit of a screen. That's what I should have done. That's what I was going to do, and then I thought, oh no, I can just do it so he can only get in through the guard way, you know. But I just I just completely forgot about the wizard. <laughs> oh, holy shit. The good thing is, I didn't really plan on carrying on the, uh, on the Edge 4 guy anyway on my drive, because I've got the warrior to defend against the strip. Having a warrior with block against strip. Is better than defenseless, uh, defenseless beast. He's got babes, hasn't he? He's got actually two babes, so one babe had an effect. No, oh, wow! Is this the dancer that rolls the one? Oh my god! <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But he's still got the stripper. But yeah, this one on thirteen is going to carry wherever he is. Space mage. Yeah, dwarves can do all right, but they get destroyed by claw teams. Yeah, they can get destroyed by claw, but can do that rush on as well. Yes, perfectly what Blaney said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? That was pretty bad, completely forgetting <laughs> The opposite of Fash there, with his playing around a fireball for the whole game, me completely forgetting you had one. <laughs> Works out amazing though, doesn't it? Now I don't have to play against a fireball or a bolt. So it worked out perfectly. The Orcs went 7-1-3, yeah. They were bashed in for China. <laughs> yeah, exactly, BGL, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, Orcs lost quite a bit. Yeah, it depends. If if the dwarves win the toss, Pom on armor eight isn't that much worse than Claw Pom. If the guys put the warriors in the line, then you you cast the warriors. It's obviously lucky to cast the warriors, but if you cast the warriors, then that's good as well. It's it's not it's not easy for chaos against dwarves. Like obviously the odds are in their favor, but. It doesn't take that much for the dwarves or orcs to dice them. <laughs> exactly on Alia, exactly. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. The bad thing is this does take away a reliable blocker, but worth it isn't it? It makes it makes it much the strip much harder. The fact that it doesn't work on block and uh it's against strength four. So I there's no choice but to carry on the space mage. And wrestle to deal with threats. I blow to blitz him, I think. I 
more people get caught. If anyone does a fucking setup like this, the idea is that you get out of position and fucked on, isn't it? Whereas if you go like this, it's pretty safe. I think this is pretty safe setup against it. Got the full, you know, defense against a blitz. Um, yeah, full, fully defensive against a blitz as much as I can be. Obviously, if he blitzes this guy, he can dodge three plus two plus, which isn't hard. Maybe I could go like this because he's he can't really run around this way so much. So then he would uh, he'd be looking at a four plus two plus to get through that way, or even like this. Where well, then? If it's short here, I'm fucked. But anywhere else, you can't really break through very well. Yeah, okay, I don't hate this. Oh, fuck. Nightmare, can't even reach it without a GFI. So I guess one of the others just goes and picks it up. Safe block, roll a double scope. Oh, thank God for the scatter. Oh, thank God he used his wizard then. Eh? Imagine if he'd wizarded these guys now. Fucking hell. That was a very decent scatter, yeah. Yeah, I guess it was a risky pickup. I didn't think of that. But I mean, it's easy from the scatter anyway. Just one dice is him to get a scatter. If I didn't go for the pickup, and he probably is going to one dice blitz him now anyway to get the scatter. So it's not over yet. The scatter. Yeah, it's Woody's exactly, exactly as Jellyel says. Just need a warrior to catch it. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have done that if I hadn't gone for the pickup. So. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's in four tackle zones. <laughs> That's. Uh, that could have been a lot worse. <laughs>
Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I didn't want to say it in case he hadn't seen it and he was like, yeah, he gets the push. Now the scatter could go really badly. Really fucking badly. Oh! Glorious scatter! Oh, thanks God. Right, it's still not over, but... That was a good scatter. It could have gone really, really, really badly, couldn't it? It could have gone, that could have gone so bad. Yeah, that's getting, that's getting to what I'd like. I like it, Barney, I like it. Glorious. I think that'd be, I think that's good. I think a bit bigger letters, so like, you know, they're kind of on the verge of it, and then maybe something, but yeah, that's good, isn't it? That's good, that's good, that's good, I like it. I like it. Right, block, block, blitz him. Because if I can just cast the dancer, everything gets a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> Glorious. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. You have been banged on. Jim Glorious Pal. Alright, pretty good. Pretty damn good. GG. Oh my god. Right. Um I don't want to do a handoff action. Because it's still Woody's. Even though he's as fucked as he is, it's still Woody's. But I really want to level up this guy. We really want to see those fingers. So I'm going to go for it. The most fun had one tackle guy. He's even got the ball. Outrageous. Plus when will I get one on this team? Um... I'll probably get like three or something on this team eventually. I'll get it when it's as soon as it's reasonable. I don't know when. <laughs> Rolling pals and breaking arm is not punished for that handoff. I mean, I know I should have just kept it on the guard guy. And the guard guy would be alright to get a touchdown with to go on 12 to be within an MVP of block. But. I was just, you know, the strength four is obviously way harder from to deal with. Way, way harder from to deal with the strength four. He does have five men's left, yeah. Yeah, really lucky. It was incredible. The first turn was just ridiculous. Getting two cars. He failed the dancer dodge and I got two cars. Then his dancer not coming back was ridiculous. So, it is just a matchmaking game, but it would have been easy to have drawn that with a bad scatter, wouldn't it? As, as ridiculously dominant as this position is. I guess I could go for 3-0. But I've only got one reroll. So. I'm not sure I like that with only one reroll, to be honest. <laughs> I 
I'll be guard. Guard, if. 100% guard. Just trying to win games. <laughs> Thanks for giving him the idea. <laughs> He has babes, yeah, so he's going to be on seven, eight. He's going to be on eight. Um, and he could easily score and turn me over and score again. I don't have my edge four guy, I'm only on one reroll. Um, yeah. Give him the blow of might for China. Oh dear. I was thinking I had to run all around, but I can just go down. Inarion would go for 5 0. Inarion would have wood else though. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh man, that was it. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, Jellio. He did roll a lot of ones, didn't he? Include like two one, two double ones with dancers. Um, and the the first double one led to two cars on turn one, which was just ridiculous. Getting the extra blocks though. Oh yeah. Yeah, seven one zero. Now, pretty much. It's not guaranteed. I don't want to jinx it, but looks pretty much guaranteed to be 710. After all the nightmares of uh, last season. Turn 16 foul and no balls. <laughs> Definitely no balls when it's a. Uh, God, Chaos Warrior on the line. <laughs> my God, you mean my evil? Oh. <laughs> I'm actually mean guard, believe it or not. I know it's I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, one killer, three support, yeah. Or maybe two killers. Maybe maybe we've got the mighty blow claw guy. So I think two guards and then a mighty blow. <laughs> yeah, can they? Yeah, been lucky. Been lucky every game they did, pretty much. Probably the least lucky was the game against the Dark Elves where he just conceded um, for no reason. That was lucky in terms of getting him as an opponent, wasn't it?
You know, that's the thing, the Claw Mighty Blow guys are, uh, you can't trust them. You can't trust them, but they got to get the SPPs, haven't they? Let's go there. Yeah, I, I prefer support warriors as well. But yeah, one killer for sure, yeah. yeah. Start them killy, or well, it depends. Mighty blow claw. I tend to go piling on then block. But maybe block then piling on. But definitely one just goes claw pom first. Even if it's block mighty blow claw piling on, one has to go piling on first, I I think. Like one could go block mighty blow claw piling on, and the others could go block guard mighty blow claw piling on. <laughs> but like eventually I'd have four claw pom warriors if I could. Yeah, the early edge is amazing. It's a shame he didn't get to score his touchdown this game to, to get him block. Um, or maybe dodge on a double. Double would obviously be amazing. But, you know, level the level the mighty blow beast and level him if he if he does. I mean, probably gonna level him. Haven't leveled him yet. Shouldn't get ahead of myself. Yeah, <laughs> the edge guy probably will get MVP. That seems to be the way the way the game works, doesn't it? Ooh, ooh, nearly did a nearly did a GFI. That would have been stupid, wouldn't it? Poor Claw Mighty Blow guy not getting any cards. Poor bastard, it's a hard life. Pitch clear is looking pretty impossible now with two turns left. <laughs> Caught me by surprise. <laughs> Caught me by surprise too, Ducky. <laughs> this time he doesn't have a wizard Yes! <laughs> Fireball me again! <laughs> uh, not a 
bad cage. Yeah, that's what I meant to do against the against the wizard. Fucking hell. I was like, oh, I should have done that cage. I would have done it if I'd, if I'd spotted it earlier. If I'd spotted the chance to do it earlier, I would have done it earlier. That's the craziest thing. Cube, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, I thought of it too late, but I, I would have done it had I thought of it earlier. He's on nine. Eleven would get him uh, MVP range. So let's let's do a two D with block. Should have bought down. Shouldn't have been quicker. Oh, my fucking mouse has died. Oh, man. Mouse. I'm sure she won't mind. I need to get like a knot. And the wireless mouse is just dumb. It's it's cool because it's silent, so you don't hear me clicking all the time like you used to. But um, it's dumb having a a one that can run out of batteries, isn't it? Right. God, it's so loud. God, it moves, it moves so far when I move it. Holy shit. Well, you too, that's nice, isn't it? You like the loud clicking noises. <laughs> yeah, the cage was great, wasn't it? I enjoyed that cage. Only made two, oh no, made three out of five with two pluses. Right. Whoa. Whoa, my God, it's just so responsive, it's crazy. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Eh? Block guys on nine. I mean, I want the wrestler guy more than I want the block guy. Oh, I can put this guy on. And then protect the claw mighty blow. Oh, I can't, I've got a fucking Kaz. Shit. God, this is the last game of the day anyway. Oh my god, it it, it reacts to it's like the Drax of mice. <laughs> its reactions are too fast. Right. Confirm. Yeah, new Fangle Mouse technology. It's it's different because she's got it. She plays all you know FPSs and that. And it's all. Uh, it's a huge mouse. It's much better for me than it is for her. <laughs> it fits my hand like a glove, but hers it's not so good. 
I can't really use it because of the uh, the clicking, the loud clicking noises. <laughs> yeah, water. He didn't even have a war dance there. He only had like five players left. It was just like. Um, Likes his hand around a huge box. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, okay. Oh well. Yeah, I got I got really lucky with the uh The first turn was just I mean it wasn't GG off the first turn, but it was insane, wasn't it? It was just insane the first turn. All right, Morgan the Mad. I'll look at it after the YouTube video is finished. Glorious win. Okay, 40. There's no reason I'm not going to spend anything, so I'll just keep it. Uh, Raptor gets a thing. 15 AV breaks to one. Crazy. Only twice as many blocks as well. That was a crazy game. No doubt about it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, two levels. Guard. No, not guard. Strength. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to be strength. Um, and then this one. Hmm, double. Um. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to go claw. Block, I wouldn't hate block though, because then I could have a, a claw mighty blow guy or a block mighty blow guy to blitz with. I wouldn't hate going block on shield man. Um. Yeah, too early for jump up, yeah. Yeah, the problem with going jump up is it's just so crap for so long. That's the problem. Let's think on that. Strength 5 is a lot of bloat though, isn't it? Strength 5 is a lot of... I mean, jump up's good eventually, but it just takes so long to pay off. That's that's what I don't like about it. Right, come on, I've got to take it, haven't I? Let's be honest, I've got to take it. <laughs> I'm not going to take diving tackle. I am not a... Uh... I am not a coach in uh, UK BBL. I'm not going to take diving tackle on my goats. Um, <laughs> you know, things like them and stuff. <laughs> no, it's claw. It's honestly, it's claw or block. It could be block. Yeah, string five is pretty fucking useful. That's true. That's true. That's true. And when he gets guard, he's just great then, isn't he? Um, could be like strength five guard technical stand firm eventually maybe really good i like having an anti-elf player so now i guess he he wants to be molded in the anti-elf player like a, a beast but good um a beast but good these two can just go guard he can be claw pom he'd like to be claw pom i'd also like a tackle pommer as well so maybe that's this guy's job Flamethrower has got to maybe somehow live to be a tackle pummer. Um, obviously, Paul Carrier, just a line beast. Nothing special about him. So I guess he'll go here as to be a line beast, even though it's not technically in proper order or anything now. Um, let's have the Ball Carrier here. And the two killers there. So we're gonna have, we've got two Beastman killers. Ball Carrier and a uh, safety and then line beasts um, and yeah these will be guard guys and that's it uh, the names the names are things in beast battle simulator <laughs> so yeah the, the block the block mighty blow or a claw mighty blow to blitz is all right it's an all right idea isn't it because a lot of time i've been wanting to make safe blitzers and i've just had to block with a block blitz with a block guy but having a block mighty blow to blitz with the problem being would be that this guy would would like to then go block mighty blow 
So he could go block mighty blow tackle, and he could go mighty blow claw piling on, but I don't like having two unreliable blitzers. I'll actually think about this one. Uh, but obviously the strength five taken is all right. Yeah, I realize it's not in the correct order. I don't care so much about the correct order of SPPs, um, as I like having things that work all right. Just for you, Jaleel. Just for you. Um, right. And, and there you go as well. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.